Hello everyone, uh, Islam here. Today's use case is that we would like to create uh, one account, one record, only if this record does not exist in Salesforce. Meaning if someone previously created an account and named it, uh, say, YouTube, and then another user is trying to create YouTube again, then it shouldn't allow uh, the user to create YouTube and should notify the user that there is already an account with that name. So here is we, how we approach this. First, we have a screen element to collect the company name, and then we are going to get uh, the account that meets this criteria, which is the, the account name equals the name that the user inserted in the screen, and then we are going to store it in a variable. Well, I mean, it's not stored in a variable, it is stored inside uh, the account that's returned from get, uh, get company. Later on, we can reference the account from get company. We're going to have a decision element after that to check if the get element returned anything or not. So account, you see, this is how we refer to uh, the account from get, uh, get element. So account from get company, meaning get element, get company element has returned an account and then we can reference it here. Now, this is what get element returned. Did it return null or no? So the way I have set it up here is is null equals false, meaning is not null, meaning there is a company. There is something that was found in here. So either there is a company or there is no company. If there is a company, just display a screen that says the company already exists. If there is no company, assign the name from the screen component into a record variable and then create that record variable. Now let's build this uh, flow from scratch. So the first thing we need is um, a screen to collect the company information from the user. Again, I will always put the word screen in um, a screen because sometimes I would have uh, a field or a display text uh, named company information inside the screen. So I need to, to distinguish, distinguish between the, uh, the two of them. The only thing we need to collect from the user at this point is the company name. So I'm just creating a a text screen component, naming it company name. Then we need to get that account. So there is two pieces here. We need to get an account and then we need to decide if that get returns an account or not. So first thing is that we need to get that account. This is, this is an account now. So it's a get element and I named it a get account of what object, it's an account object. Uh, we need it to meet a certain criteria. We don't want to return just anything. We need to return, uh, we need to get a specific record. What is the criteria for this record? We would like the name of this record to be equal to the name that was inserted in the screen. So it's in uns uh, under screen components, the company name. This is inserted by the user. We need to make sure that it matches the one that already exists, if any. This is all we need to do in the get element for now. And then we're going to decide if this get element returned something or not. So um, I will name it decision uh, company. So, uh, usually in the in the decision element uh, in the decision element, I would like the name here to be a question. I'd like it to be in a, in a, in a shape of a question, and I'd like to put the uh, the word decision. The reason is the answer would be uh, similar to the question. So company found, yes, company found, and then company not found. Oh, I'm sorry. So company found and company not found. If you look at the uh, API of the outcome, it's now company found. If I name this company found only, it's going to have the, the same API name. So again, I'd like to distinguish between the decision name and the outcome name. So this is a decision, uh, the decision keyword here would tell me that this is a decision. Without it, I would know that it is an outcome. So um, company found, meaning that you will see here, one of the record variables that that is created automatically from the get element is an account that is returned, or it was, uh, it was returned from get uh, element, which is get account, we named it get account. Now I'd like to check uh, not the fields, but the entire record variable. So I'm just going to click outside or just delete this dot. 
So now it is checking something on the entirety of the account. What is it that we are trying to check? We are trying to check if it is null. Uh, is null can be uh, can have the value of either true or false. So we have two global constants. One of them is global constant true, and the other one is global constant false. Uh, whenever you, whenever we use a true or false, these are the the ones that we are going to use. Uh, I will choose false in this case, and now let's look at it. Now, uh, glo the account from get element is not null. This is how I'd like to look at it. I don't like to think is null false. And instead, I'd like to think is not null, meaning there is something that was returned, meaning there is a company that was found. And yeah, we found a company. And the only alternative is that, you know, uh, uh, the only other option is that there is no company. So this is all we need to do here. Uh, now, what should we do if there is a company already? Uh, we will just create a screen to display to the user that there is already uh, an account. So, you know, account found alert screen. And then we'll just uh, use a display text component to tell the user that uh, there is already an account with this name. There is already an account with this name. All right, so. Uh, Whenever I use a display text, I would I would like I would I would like to name it display text display text underscore and then the name of the uh, the keywords to the to tell me what's what's inside this display text. Can only contain underscores. Do they put a space? Yeah, I put a space there. All right. So display text underscore account found. Um, usually when Later on, when I need to go back, there might be something, um, uh, a field or a screen component or a variable named account found. And uh, the w whenever I see a display text at the beginning, I know, that, I know that this is not what I'm looking for. So it just helps me identify what this is quickly. So this is going to display to, uh, to the user if there is an, a company that was already found. If it's not found, then we need to create it. Uh, how we are going to do this is uh, the same thing we did with create one one company or one account um, on the other video the other day. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, we need one assignment to uh, add the name to a record variable, and then we need to create it. So first thing is that we need we need a record variable. A record variable is a record inside the flow, not inside Salesforce yet. So we're going to create this record variable first. This is an um, record variable underscore account this is of record this is a record of object type account and again uh, I'd like the name to tell me everything this is a record this is a variable this is uh, an account now that we've got the variable this variable is now empty we need to put the name inside this variable we're going to use an assignment to uh, to put the name inside now we're going to assign the uh, screen company name to record variable. Uh, again, I'd like the name to tell me everything that's going on inside the element so that I don't have to open the element to know what's happening inside. What's happening here is that we need to uh, the record variable account. Inside this, I'd like the name to be the same name that the user has inserted in the screen component company name. Once we do that, now the record variable has one value, which is the company name. We are ready to create this record variable. We're going to use a create element. Create record variable underscore account. Uh, we have only one record to create, and that record is uh, record variable account. Then uh, after that, the flow is going to end uh, either way. So we've got two paths. Uh, the first one is if there is a company, if there is a company, just tell the user that there is already a company and don't do anything else. If there is no company found, then go ahead and create that company. Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, company, I'll just name it company for now. We should use more uh, 
meaningful uh, name, but uh, just for uh, for the purposes of this uh, test. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and debug to make sure that it's actually doing what we want it to do. Um, we'll create a company and uh, let's name it, I don't know, Twitter. Next. Right. Now let's see what happened here. Uh, so first screen uh, collected the information. It got, uh, it was trying to get the record. It did not find any record. Based on this result, the decision uh, went with uh, the create uh, path. A company was not found, meaning we're ready to create. So uh, when it's ready to create, there was an assignment and a create. The name has been assigned to the record variable and then that record variable was created. Let's look inside. Inside Salesforce to make sure that the account has been created. The name of the account is Twitter. Look in here, there is a Twitter there. Now let's repeat the exact same thing with the exact same name to see what happens. So here's the screen that says there is an or, there is a, uh, already an account with this name and let's look what happened here. A screen collected the name, get records, successfully found the records and based on this result, uh, the decision element went with the path that uh, displays the screen, not the other path to create. Uh, this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Peace.